I should probably be asleep right now, but I'm still coping and seething from today and last night. Uh, we'll, 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 we'll talk about what happened today. Tomorrow when we recap the NFL. But tonight, you know, a little college basketball for you. You know, to get the get the juices flowing is, again, first week of the season. Came and went. Um, UC Irvine beat Oregon. Temple beat Villanova. Louisville had like two losses and then a whole bunch of bye game brutal losses. So, you know, you know things got crazy. Then, earlier today, Colorado beat Tennessee. Like, I didn't think that would happen. Because, um, again, Tennessee's, they brought a lot of pieces back with Rick Barnes. So, I, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know, man. There was also that game on that aircraft, the Armed Forces Classic Veterans Day weekend. It was something... I wouldn't say it was the greatest weekend for me, but... You know, it happened. That there's... The fact that the Zags survived against Michigan State with Drew Timmy, you know, scoring 22 points in that game. And I mean, Michigan State was scrappy, they were physical, they were able to do what they were needing to do but not only do the Zags get Texas led by Chris Beard who also has a couple guys you know a very solid group Dylan Mitchell Tyrese Hunter to name a few along with some other guys coming back for my horns this year you know Zags looking for the sweep they're looking to go 2-0 against Texas Texas trying to even up this home and home, you know, win at home this season, opening up their new arena and everything like that. They opened it up a few, well, they opened it up this week, obviously, but, you know, this is a big game for the Zags. They also have Kentucky. Kentucky, they'll be playing Kentucky on Sunday night. Gonzaga will in Seattle. And then that same Oregon team. You know, Nefeli Dante, he's basically been the guy for the Ducks so far. They got to play Houston. Hungry. Dynamic. You know, not just Marcus Sasser and Tremont Mark for the Cougars. They also have a guy by the name of Jerace Walker. That, that, dude can, that dude can play. Again, Houston is loaded, stacked, whatever you want to say damn good team right there he with the, with the coups but you know it's not just that game again this week is looking a little bit you know it's the prelude to the feast coming Thanksgiving week you know we got the Champions Classic again Oscar Sheway he's been kind of hurt a little bit so we're trying to figure out is he gonna play against the Spartans and uh, honestly, are you ready for the new college basketball villain? His name is Grady Dick. Kansas um, has a new freshman by the name of Grady Dick. He will basically probably be the college basketball villain of the year. I know a lot of people didn't like Kirk Creese of last year. Some people still seem to not like Drew Timmy. You know, we always got to have a college basketball villain that we hate every other day that we see him on the screens. And people just don't seem to like this guy already. But Kansas is going to take on Duke. You know, I'm wondering, is John Shea going to have the Blue Devils ready for this game? As, you know, week two again is going to be big. And it's not just the Champions Classic. Later in the week, you got the Continental Tire made a bet. Oh boy. This is, this is a big one. You know, Baylor... They have a couple new guys, Keontae George, Jalen Bridges, and of course the old guard as well, like Flagler, he's still there. Um, you know, Scott Drew <laughs> building a building a team that can, you know, win championships out there. Like more than one championship. Like this Baylor team can go far, I think in my personal opinion. 
you know, there's also Virginia. They'll be playing Virginia in the early game. You know, Tony Bennett has another Cavs team that can play really good defense. They're young, though. That's the thing. And they're also able to score a little more, too. So it's not the Virginia of old yet. But, you know, those first couple games Virginia had weren't against the greatest of competition. So we'll see if the Cavs can, you know, keep it up. Because I'm wondering, I'm wondering, can, can Virginia keep the scoring up this time? Because, you know, the last couple of seasons, Virginia just hasn't been able to score the way, the way you think, you know. So, you wonder. And then the other of the Continental Tire games is Illinois, UCLA, Illinois has Terrence Shannon. He must have transferred. I forgot where he, I already did forgot. But there's also Coleman Hawkins. They, they're looking to soar the great things this year, Illinois. You know I remember a couple seasons back people were still ragging on me about Illinois and what did Illinois do? Nothing. You know in twenty twenty, nothing in twenty twenty one either. They didn't do anything last year. Of note at the UCLA, I think the only guy left from that regime that you know has gone all the way to the Final Four and stuff like that is Jamie Jacquez Jr. There's also a new wave, Jalen Clark. You know, really, really good UCLA team, ready to take on Illinois in what will be a future conference matchup. You know, <laughs> so. This one, that one's going to be interesting there. And I think the rest of the week will be interesting as well. We'll see who um, continues to lose by games and whatnot. And who gets upset. Because again, I don't think anybody expected UC Irvine to beat Oregon like that. I didn't expect that either. I knew we were going to get something, but I didn't think it'd be that game. You know, like there were some scares. You know, like North Carolina got a little scared at one point, but they were able to pull it out and, you know, beat up on the competition. Like at one point I saw North Carolina was down to Charleston, but they pulled it and they turned it around and won that game pretty easily, so you know the pieces are there for upsets, you know, like Texas Southern. Um be which Pac twelve team was it? Arizona State? Oh, Oh, but I don't remember. And at this point, you know, we still have a long season to go. We still got another 20-something weeks until we get to Houston. So it's going to be one hell of a time. Cannot wait. Let's keep this up. And I'll see you all on Monday to recap the NFL. Good night and see you soon.